So we're gonna start with the, the guide prep here. Uh, so here's our steerable guide. So the first thing to do is just remove the protective coverings off the tip of the guide here, which has two layers. It, it peels off like a kind of like a banana peel here. So those are removed and put off to the side. Uh, then we're gonna take standard stopcocks and put them onto the back of the dilator and the guide itself here. The first thing we're gonna do is, is de-air the dilator. So we're gonna remove our flexible tubing here for a minute, connect up to the stopcock, flush the sidearm through, turn the two-way off in the back here. He's gonna submerge under water. You seal the air, clean Bubbles out. come out. Okay, now no bubbles. He's gonna put his finger over the tip underneath the water. Validate that there's no Close air that. coming through. And then he's gonna hand the front end of the dilator to me. So here, we're gonna test the seal by advancing about 10 centimeters into the back of the guide. We do this twice to make sure that when this is a fluid filled column that it's going to hold and not entrain in the air. We get a full syringe here. This is a large syringe with flexible tubing. So we have a 60 cc syringe here. Get all the air out. We connect our flexible tubing once again up to the sidearm of the guide here. Flush forward through the sidearm and then we're going to stand the guide completely straight up in the air. So as we stand it vertically here, we're gonna grab a 20 cc mm -hmm. syringe or whatever your choice is for tapping. We start at the bottom here and we basically make sure that any air will migrate up to the surface to the tip of the guide. So as it comes out, Dr. Rodriguez is gonna put his finger over the tip of the guide there to hold the fluid column. I turn off the flush here from the flexible tubing. We flip the guide completely upside down into the bowl. We take our finger off. We want to make sure that this is holding fluid here. You do not want to see any air or entrainment of air in there. He's going to put his finger back over the tip of the guide underneath the water. He's going to let me have the back end here. And I'm going to gently insert the dilator down the length of the guide. So as we get approximately halfway to two thirds down, he's going to release his finger from the tip there. This is to hold that fluid column in there and keep the system completely de-aired. At the end of the dilator, there's these um, stripes that are located that you can see on echo. You wanna make sure the transition between the tip of the guide and the dilator is smooth in that location. Uh, otherwise, the guide is completely prepped at this time using the new G4 system. We're gonna take the guide, put it on the back table here, and then we're gonna proceed with the pr preparation of our clip itself. So for this case, we've selected an XTR wide. We're going to go through the preparation of this clip. We're going to start here. Here's the clip on the, in the back, protected, and we keep that until the clip is going to be inserted. First thing is to take this little red little cap and change it to a stopcock here. And then Andy's putting the uh, red cap back. And now we're going to flush this little system here. So, so this flush through the stopcock here de-airs the introducer to the system. So we flush all the way through, de-air, and then turn off to the system. And then... So that's gonna be disconnected and then held in place. Once again, two additional stopcocks that connect up here to the CDS handle and the shaft of the clip. So what we'll do is connect the first line here to start de-airing, we have pressurized bags of heparinized saline. In addition, you'll notice when it comes out of the case, it has a 90 degree rotation here. You loosen the CDS handle and you actually can rotate it to align with the a &P knob on the top of the device. We'll start our flow of heparinized saline, carry through our pressurized bags. We de-air the stopcock, we turn on the device and throughout the length of this catheter, you can see that the air bubbles slowly come out. During that time, you wanna slowly go back and forth with the CDS handle in order to move any bubbles out of the shaft itself. So 10 times with that. In addition, the secondary line of flush, which goes to a separate bag, will be connected here to fill the chamber. We turn on the flow of Fluid once again to the back here to the chamber. We release the red cap. And then the chamber itself will slowly flow, fill with liquid here, making sure all air bubbles have come through 
where our cap is put. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and pull back. We're gonna move our lock line out, pull back and push forward, and then dare carefully de-air the cap itself by just slowly releasing and then tightening back. So <clears throat> we finished de-airing the device. We're gonna go through the functionality testing of the uh, clip itself. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and raise grippers. We're gonna unlock the clip here. Clip um, the clip is at 120. Okay, we're gonna drop grippers here. We're going to close down to 60. It's approximately 60. We're gonna go ahead and relock the clip. Clip is relocked. Then we're gonna come down to 20. Now with the grippers down and the clip locked, we're gonna test that it's not gonna open once it's closed down to 20. So I'm gonna to try to go in the open direction. You yep. should see some deflection of the shaft there. Yep. Which is here, and there's, the clip is not opening. Now at this time, we wanna raise grippers. You're gonna unlock clip here, and then slowly open the device. Back to 120. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull back the device. We're gonna lock the clip. We're gonna lower the arms with the grippers up. Now, once it's closed, lower grippers, and we're gonna insert it into the introducer. And then for the insertion part, the first thing is to actually push the clip out of the sheath a little bit, because a lot of times it gets uh, stuck in there, and then when you pull it back, you don't want to be manipulating the clip. You don't want to be pinching on it so you don't damage the grippers. And then as you come down, basically, you kind of align it to go into the... So make sure it's free of any edges, that it carefully goes in there, no pinching of the clip with both fingers and guiding in with one finger directly into the introducer. Then, after you tighten it, you're gonna go back to the neutral position on the white wheel as a sloppy neutral there and turn off drips until the rest of your um, setup with the guide is completed.